purpose of this video is to talk about traveling, which is probably why you clicked on it and how I sleep in my car and kind of keep things organized when I'm on the road. If you're new here, my name's Philip. I'm a landscape and nature photographer based here in the Midwest in the United States. And on this channel, I talk about things like photography and traveling, as you may have guessed. <laughs> so if uh, something like that interests you, um, consider subscribing because there is lots of good content coming up on the channel. Recently, I just got back from my trip through the Southwest. So I was in Zion and the Grand Canyon and all that stuff, which is why I won't be vlogging today. I'm just gonna kind of do this quick little video. Long story short, I have two days off now, so I just decided to uh, enjoy them in Badlands National, National Park. I'm just kind of moseying around. I got up shot sunrise. Now I'm kind of hiking around and I'm headed back to the car to uh, get to the purpose of this video. So let's go. Okay, back at the car now, and I'm just gonna do this real quick. And if you have any questions on anything, just let me know. We're just gonna go door to door, I guess. <laughs> door to door. Um, all right, so. <clears throat> right now, let's adjust that, okay. Obviously, I'm in the driver's seat, the captain's chair, if you will. And, I mean, nothing special about this one. This is just where I drive. I usually try to keep this area pretty clear. Um, but uh, I guess what I will say about this door is what I need access to is my charging stuff. So I have my center console that has a auxiliary cord for music because music on road trips is super important and a charging cable for my phone, which is also super important. Um, I don't have it up right now because I didn't need it because I know where I'm going, but uh, I usually have some suction cup mounts up here on the window. Um, one is for the GoPro so I can get driving footage, um, and the other is for my cell phone so when I'm driving in heavy traffic, I don't have to like look down at my phone to see my directions. It's just right there handy, and I'll probably pull that out here in just a second. Um, and let's move over. Loving this ND filter makes my life so much easier. Um, so here we go. I have my charging seat, and here is a portable Rav Power power bank. Um, I have another smaller one that goes in my bag. My headlamp, um, a map of where I am, um, a cigarette lighter plug in um, that goes in there and when I'm driving that's what I use to plug things in while I'm driving and the one here is more for when I am stopped for the evening my photography bag goes here I like having quick access to it um, when I'm driving if I were to need it and then all of my tripods go down there. There's a few. I usually travel with a few just because you never really know what you're gonna need. Um, especially sometimes when I'm hiking, I don't like to bring the bigger ones. So I just bring the two gorilla pods. And here's the attachment for my phone and the suction cup for my GoPro. That's where those live when I'm not on the road. But like I said, I didn't need them for this trip. So they're not on the window. And back here on this door, this is my clothing bag, toiletries, and my spare electronics bag. And so this is, um, I have an extra headlamp. My GoPro goes in here when it's not on the window. Um, some 
charging stuff goes in there um on what depending on the trip if i need an extra lens or something it'll go in there if it's not in my bag or if i need to take a lens out of my bag that's where it goes food also goes in this door um, i have them separated in the bags for breakfast lunches or excuse me breakfast and then i have snacks here and then i have like lunches and dinners here in this one i like to keep them separate just because it's easier to kind of like you don't have to dig through a bag full of food you're just digging through specific bags of what you need and this is my drink door i usually keep this back area clear because it's also doubles as my sleeping um side but i also I uh, keep my drinks over here, so I usually have water. I usually carry more than this, but um, not a big trip. Um, some sort of electrolyte drink, protein waters, energy drinks. Um, I keep my cook kit back here. A little pot. And then also a sun reflector, um, which is actually super helpful. One, keeping the sun out of your car during the day so your car doesn't get really hot. When you have to get back in and at night when you want to block light from coming in when you sleep in your car so now probably the trickiest thing that most people want to know is how do you sleep in your car comfortably uh, when you're road traveling especially because this, um, this is super important because this is how i save the majority of my money is by sleeping in my vehicle so i have a little button down here in my car that opens the trunk and and there's this button here that releases the seat into from the trunk into the back seat. You can see I have a space that opened up now. So we'll swing back around to the back seat. Now that I pop that button out, I have a kind of a somewhat flat, reasonable surface that fits my body and what I'll do is I will just pull this out of the way and I have a butt pad that kind of helps with this dip here pull out the first sleeping pad and the second one because it is a Kind of a hard surface it's nice to have two pads it makes it a little bit more comfortable i have a pillow for obvious reasons and then my sleeping bag just slides up so then i shut the trunk obviously and then i climb in the bag and it's it's not too bad it's pretty comfortable actually and it's free so i can't really complain about that so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I have my car organized for photography trips and how I sleep in the car fairly comfortably to save a little bit of money. And yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you. Um, definitely love to share information. Um, it's good to kind of help each other out because this took me a little while to figure out and I'm still figuring out making changes and things like that. So if you like this video, leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.